often should I receive the sacrament? Regularly. It is good to break up our life into small pieces. Don't worry if you think I'm always confessing the same sins. Each of us has particular personal patterns of temptation and weakness with which we struggle throughout life. And in the struggle again and again come for forgiveness to the Lord and so grow in humility and compassion. How do I do long range preparation for the sacrament? In our earlier talks, we discussed the importance of a daily practice of examining our conscience. We can briefly but honestly review the day and note any ways in which you have sinned against God or neighbor. Throughout the day, it is good to regularly express awareness of God's mercy, perhaps through prayers such as the Jesus prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. It is also good to do this when facing temptation or when aware of having sinned. What is the immediate preparation for the sacrament? Come to church and spend a few minutes before receiving the sacrament of penance, praying quietly before our Lord in the Holy Eucharist. This is also a good time to pray the Jesus prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Pray Psalm 32 or Psalm 51, which speak of honest repentance and God's loving forgiveness. Read the parable of the prodigal son in Luke chapter 15. How do I start my confession? Well, begin with, bless me, Father, for I have sinned, which certainly gets to the point. Then say how long it has been since your last confession. This helps the priest understand the context of your confession and can help him to give you better spiritual advice. It is true for each of us to say that I am a sinner, but we also need to be more particular because we live through particular actions. But if we consider only the actions and not the deeper roots, we will not see how to grow closer to God. So for example, one might say, I'm struggling with pride, and that has led me to speak negatively about a coworker I look down on because of my pride. Confession is not a memory test. Any sins forgotten are forgiven. It is to help us to prepare for the gift of the mercy of God. As a practical point, it is good to say at the end of the confession, for these and any other sins I cannot remember, I am truly sorry. This includes all your sins, and as a practical point, tells the priest that you are finished. What does it mean to receive a penance from the priest? The priest will give you a penance, usually a prayer of some kind, which is a way in which you can express your sorrow for your sins. What is an act of contrition? After the penance, the priest will ask you to make an act of contrition or prayer of sorrow. There are many different acts of contrition. If the penitent is not familiar with one, I suggest this very basic one. Oh my God, I'm sorry for my sins. And with your help, I will try not to sin again. Here is a fuller one that I use myself. O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all of my sins because of thy just punishment, but most of all, because he offend thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to sin no more and to avoid the near occasions of sin. What is absolution? Consider the words by which, through the ministry of the priest, Jesus forgives us. God, the Father of mercies, through the death and resurrection of his Son, Jesus Christ, has reconciled the world to himself and sent the Holy Spirit among us for the forgiveness of sins. Through the ministry of the church, may God give you pardon and peace. And then the priest says these words of absolution, and I absolve you from your sins in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What happens after the sacrament? When we complete our penance, we set out on the next portion of our journey of faith, at one with God, and blessed with a deeper understanding of our frailty 
and the need for his grace. The struggle continues, for we still face the many temptations of life and will need again and again to return to receive the mercy of God. But through the sacramental experience of that divine mercy, we slowly become more humble, more compassionate, more supple instruments of God's grace in our baptismal mission of discipleship. The priest may conclude with this beautiful prayer, which I offer for you now. May the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary and of all the saints, whatever good you do and suffering you endure, heal your sins, help you to grow in holiness, and reward you with eternal life. Go in peace. Thank you.